Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be updating my previous tutorial on how you could enable all the LAN ports on your PLDT Home Fiber Router. So wag na natin patagalin. Let's get started. So sa tutorial na to, I'll be demonstrating the PLDT Home Fiber AN5506-FA modem. By default, the only LAN ports that are available is only the LAN port number 1. Kapag nilagyan mo yung LAN port number 2, 3, and 4, kadalasan wala siyang internet. So I'll be showing you on how you could enable that one. So first, we're going to open our web browser. So I have a tutorial on my channel, just so simply scroll down until you see the um, PLDT tips and tutorials. So I have here the updated version of the PLDT full admin access credentials that I posted two months ago. So just simply open that one and you can watch this tutorial to have an in-depth step-by-step -step on how you could access the actual PLDT full admin account. So I have here what I'm going to just do here is just copy the credentials. I just uh, I just leave it like that and minimize this one first. Then go to the start menu and right click it and click on command prompt and run it as administrator. And type in IP config and dito nyo malalaman kung ano yung IP address ng router nyo. Under the default gateway, yun yung kadalasang default gateway if you only have one router connected directly to the PLDT Home Fiber router. So ubuksan natin yung IP address na yun. Make sure to put the HTTPS before the IP address. And by default, the uh, IP address is 192.168.1.1. But since I have changed it, it's 1.3. And lagyan na rin natin forward slash FH. So I'm going to log in first on the Fiber Home Super Admin account. So iba iba yung mga credentials depending on the software version. The software version can be found on the first page of your router upon logging in. I have this particular version, so I'll just use, use these credentials. And be sure that there's no trailing spaces in front or at the back. And again, I'm showing you all this tutorial step by step so that you can really see that it's still working as of the date right now. So I'm going to go to the debug switch and enable the web admin switch and hit the apply button. If you cannot see anything here, just simply restart your router and do the same process again. Once done, go ahead and log out your router. For the administrator account, I'll just put admin PLDT, not the admin account. I have already changed the password, so I'll just put it here. However, if you're just accessing it for the first time, there's a lot of passwords here that uh, could possibly work depending on the software version of your router. So again, since pinalitan ko, I'll just set, uh, put it there and hit the login button. Once you are able to log in here, as you can see, I'm using AN5506-04-FA router. So, punta tayo dito sa network. Kadalasan, magkakamukha lang yung interface ng PLD Home Fiber Router, depend kahit na magkaiba yung model. So, you can follow along this video. So, go ahead and go to broadband settings. You'll be able to see all the settings right here. However, ang gagawin lang natin, or babaguhin lang natin, is itong LAN binding. As you can see here, here is the checkbox for the particular LANs. So there's LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, and LAN 4. Just simply check all those LAN boxes and scroll down and apply. If you experience no internet while uh, connecting on the LAN 2, LAN 3, and LAN 4 ports, you can try and disabling the DNS relay and hit the apply button and see if that would fix your problem. However, if that wouldn't fix the problem, you simply turn it back to default after applying the settings we can go ahead and log out to this um PLDT router now and go ahead and restart your router manually to have the, the setting to take effect so when connecting through the lan port since i cannot do it since i'm on my laptop and under the wi-fi i'm just going to mini minimize this one if you experience such as uh, there's no internet connectivity even after turning off or on the dns relay option you can go ahead and go to the network icon in your taskbar right click it and click on open network and internet settings to be taken to this panel or window you'll be able to see here the network reset click that button and click that reset now and hit the yes button and it will reset your ip configurations and everything on your uh, network adapter that hopefully could re uh, assign your computer with another ip address and if that wouldn't work you can go back and click on the change adapter options 
look for your LAN card. I'm going to demonstrate using the Wi-Fi network. However, if you're connecting through LAN, just simply look for your LAN card and right click it and click on properties. Hanapin nyo yung internet protocol version 4. Click on properties. So you'll be able to see these two options right here. Obtain an IP address automatically and use the following IP addresses. Only do this step if you have no internet connection. If you're accessing the uh, LAN port. So under the IP address, uh, just type in 192.168.1. That uh, you can randomly select any numbers from uh, 2 up to uh, or 254 however i would be it would be much safer if you are going to start by around 50 and above so i'm going to put here around 56 because uh, other ip addresses below this one if you have a lot of dev devices connected at your home they might uh, be assigned to 192.168.8.2.3.4 and so on kaya magkakaroon ng conflict so better start 50 and above under the subnet mask just type in 255.255.255.0 under the default gateway by default 192 168.1.1 yung uh, default gateway ng PLDT. So once done, just simply hit the OK button. But since again, I'm not, I'm just doing this for the demonstration purposes. I'm going to not going to apply it. And now you can close all these settings and see if your internet is working. So hopefully that would fix your problem and you have now a working LAN port. So thanks for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave your comments and like this video. And if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet, click that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So till then, see you again on my next video.